Hi Libra, welcome to your what do you need to do or what do I need to do reading for August 14th through September 13th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the recommend a reader shout out which goes to Sunshine Tarot. Much love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love and support if you like what she has to say. This is intended for a romantic love read, but it could resonate in other areas of your life, such as work, family, career, job, money, friends, all of that. All right, let's get to it. What do you need to do, Libra? What do you need to do? Hi. All right, Libra. I'm going to go. Oh. Thinking about taking a relationship to the next level. Thinking about your relationship. Is there some disappointment? Are you feeling like, oh, this isn't all it's cracked up to be? This communal living situation? This, this depending on each other business? We shall see. Strength. Tower. Uh-oh. Well, that's not all bad. Doesn't have to be bad. I'm kind of sick of Eeyore Tarot. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of over the uh, crap lately. Okay. The Tower, this could be Scorpio. This could be Leo. Uh, strength, Ten of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. That could be Aries. Six of Wands. Yay. Yay. Judgment. Yay. Yay for the Two of Cups. Yay. 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 <laughs> yeah, okay, so I like this. Um, it, did you just get engaged? Is that what it is? If, if you didn't, is it coming? What's going on here? Because we had the Three of Cups that came out also. What's, okay, so we got the Three of Cups. Hmm. Let's see. But we've got a breakup here. Did, did someone just break up with you and now they're like, they've completely shut you out? And so you're wondering what the heck's gonna happen with the union and is it as strong as you thought it was? Oh crap. I guess it's gonna be Eeyore Tarot again. All right. This is about you being agree agreeable and you okay don't get mad this is about you fixing this you need to forgive thank god <laughs> you are tar tarot salvaged <laughs> this is about you coming back around this is about you making the effort this is about you bringing you two back together about you initiating bringing this person who has shut you out who has shut down who feels like, well, I'm just going to go away then. Um, this is about you reaching out to them and bringing them back into the fold and being on the same page with what they want. This very well could be an adjustment period. The judgment and um, the four of wands, those are rites of passage cards. So one of the meetings, so this is about you kind of, well, it's about compromise. It's about you compromising. Might be a little little hard headed there. <laughs> Could be a little proud. Could be acting a little proud here, and both of you are in your separate corners. But we've got the two and three of cups here. So this is about you extending the olive branch, you taking the initiative, and bringing things back together. This is not, if, if you have gone through a breakup or a falling out, it's not going to stay that way. There is going to be reconciliation. I mean, we've got two of cups, three of cups, four of wands, and the strength card. And also forgiveness here so this is but is this the stress of having kind of transitioned to the next stage of your life together and then all of a sudden because it's very stressful you know everybody freaks out I mean we've got stress here everybody freaks out and says and does things you know and it could be over little things too like where you leave your toothbrush or how you put the toilet paper on the roll or where somebody leaves their shoes or something so but this is about specifically you um, extending the olive branch offering ways of, of compromise because something was said something happened to where this person's just like well I guess I'm just gonna go over here and screw off then I mean I guess you know so it's gonna be about you um, 
making it's almost like you're grabbing this one over here and grabbing this one over here and bringing it back into the circle of trust <laughs> if that makes sense all right what's this tower about for libra this tower about heck did I grab those right I grabbed the wrong one well that's the bear card all right yeah that's that stubborn um kind of this is a card of someone quite possibly being very domineering they can be very protective even very maternal and just very but at the same time this can also be domineering and controlling and maybe someone um has put you in check because maybe I mean, we've got the four of pentacles here that's control and maybe someone's just like you know what that this transition into communal living does not mean that you own me doesn't mean that you know you control everything it doesn't mean that i'm here for you it means that we're working together to create something special and so they could be kind of just having a hard time with what the transition means and they might have thought you were a bit controlling or whatnot um hopefully this is a wake-up call for you not because it should be but because this will alert you to what your person's buttons are and if if you know you mutually care about each other you'll be like okay i gotta avoid this with this person within reason i mean if you're asking something reasonable like hey can we get laundry done on thursday or something like that come on that's not unreasonable if, if someone's pitching a hissy fit over that well you know what like you just you stay at your mom's house then what's this tower about Death. So we got Scorpio here twice. So um, an abrupt change. No kidding. Wow. Okay. I am uh, muting my phone because it's kind of blowing up. So there. Getting that out of the way. No more distraction. So what the heck? Ch yeah. Again, transition. Because whatever you two knew from before, there's different rules with how you are choosing to interact and live and be together. So if this is about taking the relationship to the next level or you have transition, you're thinking of transitioning to doing that and all of a sudden you guys are starting to argue or bicker, it's normal. <laughs> Just know that that's normal. Um, it, you know, it's change and sometimes people don't transition well. They're like an albatross. It happens. All right. So what's this Ten of Swords about? What's this Ten of Swords about? Queen of Wands again. Wow. Okay. This is four of pentacles about. You know, this could be you. But see, I don't like that. If it's you that broke up because somebody was kind of controlling and it was like, this is a wake-up call. If the reverse, what I said was true, because that can happen. I don't like you having to extend the olive, olive branch. Screw that. I don't, I don't like that. Because if somebody was being all controlling, I'm like, uh-uh, that connection doesn't mean control. doesn't mean I showed up for you. I'm here because of you, but I'm not responsible for your happiness. I can greatly influence it. I get that, but I'm not, uh-uh. Mm -mm. No. So, the, we've got, maybe we've got like a war of words here, sort of an eruption of sorts that someone just, you know, after a big fight, someone completely shut down. Or maybe this is two people clashing because you both are alphas or type A and you're like, well, I want it this way. Well, I want it that I want it that. Okay, no, sorry. But maybe unless this is a third party, what the heck's going on here? Is this, is this breaking up with one person so you can end up being with another? Is this, instead of forgiveness, is this about a completion of a cycle and transitioning? But hold on. Queen of Wands about. And no, I did not have too much coffee. I haven't had any. What's Queen of Wands about? This could be Gemini. What's Queen of Wands about? Knight of Cups. Changes, changes, changes. Look at this. Change. Change. Transition. Lots of this is this is two people trying to adjust to changes and Perhaps the honeymoon is over and it's like you're kind of settling in and it's going to be probably up to you to be the one to kind of <sighs> Are you dealing with an introvert? Are you dealing with somebody that doesn't handle change well, that needs a lot of guidance, that needs kind of someone to help them transition? Once they're there, they're fine, but 
this is someone that might be kind of set in their ways and stubborn and it depends on someone compromising and i still think that it's about you kind of reaching out and coming full circle with something coming full circle with something but at the same time i'm starting to wonder like what the heck is with this person because if they're just completely shut down like i don't i i get wanting some things their way i mean that you know that's fine but preferences are allowed right but this is six of wands oh there's that two of cups again look at you and we got the knight of cups here no oh. all right you know what this is up to you to fix sorry don't get mad but honestly, this is, you, you've had a blowout. You've had some kind of something where whatever you've been working towards is put into jeopardy. We've got clashing of wills here. We've got a power struggle. And this is about you. If this is going to get fixed, it's going to be about you reaching out because otherwise this person's going to get the hell out of Dodge. There you have shut down. So something happened. I mean, this is pretty severe. We've got the t tower and the ten of swords here. And it, whatever it is, it, I mean, we got wands here. Do we have the knight of wands? Did I see the knight of wands somewhere? I did not. It could be because someone's like, well, I don't know if I want this transition anymore. I, you know, you're questioning whatever. Maybe I, you want to date some more. You want <sighs> This is someone that I, I feel like it's a, a clashing of wills and you two need to get on the same page. And it looks like it's going to be up to you to get you two on the same page. This person is kind of shut down. And the thing is, I don't think that they're a jerk. I just think that this is probably someone that likes things a certain way and they're used to that and then all of a sudden there's all these new things with either living together, getting engaged, and going at breakneck speed to get the such and such to get this date and to do that and the other and whatever. And it they just they might want things differently or slower and this is really stressing them out. And for some of you you're like, well you're seriously giving them the benefit of the doubt and you know, you're saying it very nicely. Right, yes, because I want this accessible to all. I don't want to start cursing up Blue Streak. That happens after I turn the camera off. <laughs> but it, it feels like this is someone that just is kind of having trouble adjusting to you two becoming an us, even living together, even getting married. They, you know, maybe this is an ex extreme introvert. This feels introverted. This Four of Pentacles and this Bear feels introvertish to me. And while it might be like a happy, joyous time, you know, we got the Three of Cups, it's a good thing, right? You two coming together and starting to make a life together. It's, it can be challenging for the transitions can be tough sometimes. All right, what's this judgment about? What's this judgment about? Perhaps you need to reach out online Perhaps this is you two going to counseling or talking to somebody um, that can help you sort this out. This is someone with uh, that helps you navigate something pretty tricky. They speak the truth. They're very uh, knowledgeable. They guide. They provide expert advice, that sort of thing. If this is not a therapist or a doctor or a psychologist, whatever, this could be a trusted family member or a trusted friend, somebody that gives sound advice to help you with forgiveness, to help you with the transitioning, to help you figure out, oh, I wasn't thinking of that. I didn't see that side of it. I didn't realize where they might be coming from or I didn't remember that. Or They're gonna help you come full circle with this. So it, that, that could be that that's what's gonna be needed to bring you two back into the fold. It could be that you just, I mean, look at this. We got the Tower and the Ten of Swords here. That's, that's no joke. And we've got queenly energy showing up to um, bring things back together. And it looks like it's not going to happen unless you do that. Something has happened or what, whatever. I don't know what the heck, but look at this. I mean, this one's all ready to get the hell out of Dodge. And there was probably some, you know, harsh words. So this Libra, don't get mad, but this is yours to fix, honestly. Or I shouldn't say that. It's not that it's yours to fix, but if you don't, this person's going to stay gone. Because as far as they're concerned, I mean, this is like, hopefully this was a wake up call and things are definitely in crisis. Hopefully this is things being in crisis, not it being irreparably over. All right. So what else for Libra? 
So it's not that it's yours to fix, it's just that it's going to stay in crisis or stuck unless you have a, an epiphany and come full circle with something. Because this is about you working with the person instead of you two being like this. Instead of this it being about two people wanting their way. There's got to be compromise and this is saying for you to be the one to do it. To offer the compromise, to think of solutions, to offer, okay, well what about this or what about that? It can be a tough one to swallow though if you're dealing with somebody that's just giving you the silent treatment or just like, well then, you know, not willing to work with you at all. It's like, well, I, then you just stay at your mother's. You just stay there. I'll, I'll drop your stuff by. Maybe. <laughs> what else for the word? The fool. This is activation. So this is... <laughs> That maybe you didn't bargain for all the changes or whatnot, but this is kind of like a new beginning or like, okay, we've entered a different phase. And it could be that someone's needing to take a leap of faith quite literally. Like this might be uncharted territory for either you or your person. And it's like, all right, you're going to have to trust me. You're going to have to trust me and let down. Somebody's going to have to let down their guard and replace control with trust. It's going to be baby steps. That's for darn sure, because that doesn't happen overnight. But this is about trust, and it's about starting anew together. And if that doesn't happen, that it's going to be, it, it is going to be argumentative and rough. And you are going to stay in crisis because two people sharing space, two people transitioning to an us is well, it's definitely transition. It can be tricky sometimes. All right, so I got that right. Yeah, I already got that one. I'm gonna do this one. Anything Libra needs to know, did it? Reversed? Yay! Three. Yay! Oh, wait, is that reversed or not? Okay, it felt like reversed because I was happy when I saw it. Hold on a minute. Yay! It's reversed! Yes! Okay, good. Okay. Um, this is this is almost like um, not almost it is releasing pain so it's it's like okay in the aftermath all right starting to see clearly starting to let go of what was breaking my heart earlier not gonna cut things off this is about having epiphanies after the heartache is over so coming down from the heartache after things are in crisis okay there's been this blow up this breakup harsh words somebody shut down there's a war and it's like, oh my gosh, the whole, the marriage is off, the wedding's off, whatever. And then it's like, all right, now it's time to come full circle. Hold on a minute. Get some perspective. This is about releasing the pain, being optimistic, coming up with solutions to bridge the gap, just like this Queen of Wands does. You know, Queen of Wands, she brings everybody together. She's very inclusive. And this is about you. Maybe your person is going to do that. But it feels like that this is what you need to do, is that you're the one that's going to have to take the initiative and bridge the gap and bring you two back into the fold together and in this communal space. Because I think this person, um, I think part of the reason why they, they kind of shut down and they're like, well, I guess we're done, is because they, they don't handle crisis well. They don't know what to do. They're very black or white. So it's not that they don't want to be there, but they've always got one shoe on ready to, because they, they don't... Um, they, they do well with consistency and constancy. And, and now it's like, oh my God, they're going to be really vulnerable. And it's just, it's a, especially for someone like that, this is a huge adjustment. Kind of transitioning into a, a we and an us, that's, that's huge for someone like that. That doesn't know how to be vulnerable. It doesn't trust that things are very black or white. That they're used to getting their way because it's their life and, and they're protected and safe. And then all of a sudden you got to open up and oh boy. You know, so whatever happened, whatever the wake up call was, whatever, oh, guess they don't like their eggs scrambled or whatever the heck someone did or, you know, had a reaction to it's like, okay, this is an eye opener. It's not the end of the relationship. I didn't know that. We, these are things we need to talk about. This is not about, you know, up and running and cutting things off and salting the earth, you know. Point being, 
It looks like it's up to you to bridge the gap, but it could be your person. But there's, you're not going to stay here in the, the tower moment, the death moment, the, the ten of swords. You're going to come out of it. There's going to be a release. There's going to be a, a recognition or a realization. And things aren't going to be cut off. This isn't about cutting things off or ending it. It's, it's about learning from what happens. So don't, don't stress out. Take a deep breath. <laughs> okay. All right. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you and your person are okay. It looks like this was um, pretty stressful. But I mean, we have the two and three in, of cups here and the four of wands again with the three of swords reversed. So yay. Looks like you're going to move through it. Heck of an eye opener though. <laughs> okay. I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.